What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Joe Smith is an ex first rounder in the NBA, and he blew $61 million. To be fair, it wasn't that much after taxes. Maybe he made like $19 million, but that's still a lot of money to blow. Most of us will not see that in like six or seven lifetimes. But for whatever reason, Joe Smith blew that cash and he got married to Keisha Chavis, who felt that by marrying Joe Smith, her life would change. But nope, that's not what happened. Her life got worse in all actuality. And when it did, Joe Smith had no money. So she started OnlyFans and she used the video of them arguing to relaunch her career. And for what I understand, she is 52 years old, which I have never seen a lady 52, like basically rekindle her career again. And it, and it did. But she reminded us of something that we didn't know. That while Joe Smith is so upset that she's embarking on this new endeavor, that he used to drop her off at the strip club. She was stripping for a living to pay bills at 52. All right. At 52. Back doing that. And I'm, I'm looking at the lady like, oh, man, she's disrespecting the husband and all of this. But I'm going to be real, man. I'm going to say some things that um, some brothers are not going to like. Um, there are a lot of men out there who are not taking care of your business. And I've seen this as I was growing up. And for whatever reason, because you don't take care of your business or, or, or as a man, you expect that you're supposed to get respect. And we just got to be real, man. I got to be honest. Um, we want respect because, you know, we, of, of, we are men, which you should get human respect. But if you're not taking care of your responsibilities, stop looking for respect from women. Now, I'm going to be real. A lot of women want respect because they're women. And they should get it maybe sometimes without offering the value that men are looking to receive. We understand that is our problem and that's easy to ignore. OK, well, I'm going to tell you something that can never be ignored. You as a man expecting that some woman. All right. Is going to respect you when she got to get out there and do something and you're not taking care of her. We got to be honest here. We have to really speak truthfully that it's not going to happen. All right. We just got to be honest about that. And I, I, I hear so many, so many men in today's world. And I know brothers are going to talk about the whole 50 50 thing and why that can't be the case. And that's OK. And again, man, I'm going to tell you exactly how you, you know, if you if you feel like you can do it, that's fine. Right. But Dan, if you are in a situation where you're not working, your woman considers you to be a lazy man, you're considered to be a lazy black man. You consider to be a person that don't have no ambition and hey, she can love you all she want. And, um, and she could be in the bedroom with you all you want and, and, and love the sex. But if she looks at you as that kind of man and that is who you are to her, don't, don't expect no respect from no woman. Don't, don't think you're going to go over to the white woman and get it. Oh, I can go over to the white woman. No, 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 no. Every man, every, every woman, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's going to cost you something. If you're going to keep her long term, we just got to start telling men the truth. Once you marry a woman and you get into a long term relationship with a woman, her treating you with a certain level of respect and decorum, it is dependent on you being a man, being a provider, getting out there, doing what you're supposed to do. You know, women don't like excuses, bro. We're going to be honest here. We got to speak truthfully. They don't want to hear that. You know what? I ain't got it. I can't do it. You know, this is why I can't do it. I'm feeling sick. I'm, I'm not feeling good today. A woman don't want to hear that. And I learned that from my grandfather a long time ago, complaining about, you know, you don't, you don't feel good. You don't feel like doing this. And I learned that a long time ago, man. Shut up. My mom used to always tell me, don't be that kind of man. You don't feel like doing something. Just don't say nothing. Get up there and do it. It's many days. And you guys know me. I'm here on YouTube every day. YouTube is not easy. I don't feel like creating content. I don't feel like doing what I'm supposed to do. I want to go out there in Africa. You know, the, the, the ladies is out there and I want to go out there and see what I'm seeing. And I want to go out there to enjoy the hot sun. You know, have me some Captain Morgans and things. And, you know, give me some of these Bailey ice cream treats. Sit out there by the pool and everything and enjoy myself, man. But I got things I got to do. All right. And if I can get done what I got to do, I'll do that later. But if I want to maintain the respect as a man, as a leader, 
I got to get out there and do what I'm supposed to do. And the more I keep seeing this, and I'm not trying to say that she ain't ratchet, that she that she's not uh, disrespectful, because she should just leave, right? But she not leaving. And the reason why she ain't leaving, because he need her money now. Where he going to go? He ain't taking care of his business. And a lot of men don't want to look at that a lot of brothers out here who, who be, you know, like I said, they be having issues. We got some brothers that don't want to take the responsibility of being a man, but expect to be treated like a man. That's how women think. Women think that I should just get something for doing nothing. That ain't how the black man think. Look, no, the black man got to get out there and get out. Outcast told you and Goody Mob told you about 30 years ago, almost. You need to get up, get out and get something. Don't let the days of your life pass by. You need to get up, get out, and get something. Don't spend all your time trying to get high. You got to get up and get out and get something. And Joe Smith, hey, bro, you lost it. You got to set back in life. You're not playing ball no more. You got to get after it. Like Cameron and Mace. Hey, they re you know they, they rebranded and came back. Look at 50 Cent. He asked the mistress, came back. You got to come back. And when you say, I do, you say, I'm marrying this. Look, I'm taking care of you. I'm the leader. Now you getting mad because you won't want to be the leader. The lady, she going to step up and she got to work because you don't want to work. Now, he said this. I'm going to be honest. He says that he ended up saying that he went broke trying to uh, chase her lifestyle or support her lifestyle. And he couldn't afford to keep her like that no more. Right? Here, what I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> Why you marry her then? You told the lady that you was going to be able to provide this and that. You think she loved you because, you, you know, you, 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 you're a nice person? No. She thought she was getting with you because, you know, you was going to make her life easier. That's what you told her. So, you know, you didn't do that. You didn't have that ability. So then when you went broke, now she out here struggling. She ain't signed up for that. Now, if you would have come out and just, you know, look, I ain't got it and all this, then she would have went and looked for some other opportunity. But she didn't. You see, she didn't. So now they're not doing it. And again, the brother's complaining. Well, you know what? I don't know why you treat me like such and such and this and that. Man, nah, bro. You, you got to get out there and get after something. And a lot of, a lot of black men out there, be having problems with, with some of that, especially a lot of the younger guys. A lot of the younger guys have issues with that. And if you're not going to be just stay by yourself, which a lot of brothers are going to do anyway, all right, it ain't worth it. Cool. It ain't worth it, right? We understand that. But then don't be out here looking for no woman. And I'm going to tell you, some of y'all think, oh, I'm going to go over here. You know, we're going to go ahead on and have somebody else from another community. You know, they're going to be a, 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 a dealing with me and I'm going to have this and have that. I'm going to tell you like that, man. You're going to pay a higher pr premium with somebody else. You know, you're going to be over at somebody else's community and you think that you're going to be over there and not paying your way and not taking care of business. Why is she dealing with you then? Why is she dealing with you? What is the reason why? Tell me why she could be dealing with her own man. Why is she dealing with you? So you can't get around the fact that you need to pay. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.